how do I've just added this to the front of the vlog like I say I haven't been well and I wanted to get this point in the way the police swooped in a brave 20 or so soldiers on Tommy Robinson and arrested him was less than amazing the use of pepper spray was elegant uh, the way he was removed from eating his breakfast I believe and hustled off to the van it was it was fantastic to watch great policing in action after weeks and weeks of lack of anything from the police watching police stood grinning innately if that's a word whilst hate preachers preached terrorist wave flags and the like and people should have been arrested and people taking police taking advice legal advice what extremism and the like you know it's embarrassing to say the least the guy may have caused problems at that rally the guy may be you know needed removing the guy may be labeled an anarchist an extremist far right anything else you want to say but for me two-tier policing yeah Plenty of coppers giving each other pats on the back and high fives. 20 brave soldiers or so to arrest Tommy Robinson. Again, maybe he shouldn't have been at that rally. Maybe he knew he'd get arrested. But weeks and weeks of inactivity from the police leaves a nasty taste in the mouth. Into the vlog with Stephen. How do? Welcome to all the Irish people, my last vlog, some very heartfelt comments talking about the sad incident, the stabbings in Ireland. I read all the comments, I've answered as many as I could, uh, I wasn't really in a fit state to do anything else, having spent the last six days horizontal shaking like a shitting dog, sweating, aching, and losing the ability to pee. Delirious i have been. Thankfully, I still live somewhere where we have a GP surgery where our last within an hour, Monday morning was able to get me appointment. Straight in, antibiotics after his assessment, kidney infection, and I'm back up. It's gonna be a short one, this. I brought you out, a bit of fresh air. Brought the lad out. There's a black Labrador. Traditionally, English dog, maybe. Many Labradors over the world, beloved household pet. Maybe our Stephen there is a far right dog. Yeah, black labs matter. So over the weekend, Tommy Robinson was arrested. Like I say, I don't know a lot about it, but he was arrested. Me, a little update on me, or who am I? Because it might not be obvious when you first visit the channel. Yes, prison officer. Sheffield lad, born and bred, first 40 years of my life, I lived there. Proud Sheffield lad. 20 years in engineering. Tough industry, dirty, long hours, dangerous jobs. I fear the youth of today will never undertake challenges like that. Expectations, reality, you have to graft. At around 40 years of age, I travelled to Salford and Manchester to work in HMP Forest Bank and HMP Manchester will always be known as strange ways prisons. I went there to bolster the troops, <laughs> to support the Lancashire lads and lasses, yeah? Shield on my back, white Yorkshire rose, sword by my side. I got a lot of stick for being a Yorkshire lad over there. Soft arse Yorkshire twat and the like. I didn't care me, took it on the chin and fired it straight back at him. I am a proud Yorkshireman. Yorkshire folk are special for me. Yeah, proud folk. 
there's a lot of tough towns, tough working towns in Yorkshire. There's some beautiful scenery, generous people. A sad sign when I moved from Manchester back to Yorkshire, West Yorkshire, in fact, was my daughter. Having spent most of her early years in Lancashire, why are you talking to strangers, she says to me. Why are you talking to people you don't know? So that's what you do round here. Morning, how are you going? Speak to old ladies, yeah? Call people love. People don't like that, do they, being called love in Lancashire? Get used to it. You go in a chippy, a chip shop, fish and chip shop in Yorkshire, Sheffield, call everyone love. Man, woman and child. So yeah. And then I'm a proud Englishman. There's no Englishman or English to tick on a box now when you're filling in forms, is there? It's British. No Scottish, Irish and Welsh. So that's me. I have a culture. Proud Yorkshireman, Englishman. Sheffield lad, Sheffield steel. Far right. Far right, Sam. Now we'll start with Tommy Robinson. There's your starting post, far right. So Tommy Robinson, founder of the EDL, Indies English Defence League. Tommy Robinson, right now, is a far, 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 very far away. Far right. You know what I'm saying. Off here now, straight away. Hate the guy. Fascist, racist, Nazi, all manner of terms. Don't forget, I'm far right. And Lado up there, in front of me, Stephen is my far right dog. Like I say, Tommy Robinson, in public, events like that, anti-Semitism march. Apparently, the founders of the march didn't want him there. He's a person of interest and always will be for the establishment, the media and the like. He's not liked, is he? The thing about Tommy Robinson, that probably everyone, whether you love him or hate him, will agree on, he makes people very, very, very uncomfortable. He talks about dark things. He talks about things of nightmares. Children being abused by gangs. He challenges people, causes conflict. Nothing ever said about the people he challenges. Hate preachers and the like. There's something I can tell you from experience about Tommy Robinson, having worked in the prison service. That lad will have had it tough inside, quite definitely. It is stunning up here, if not freezing. He will have had it tough inside. He will have been threatened by both staff and prisoners. There's a strong Muslim contingent in prison. Tommy Robinson would be the number one target. I believe he spent most of his time in segregation. If he'd gone in prison in the 70s and 80s, he'd probably been worshipped. Yeah? At that time, far-right organisations, National Front, existed in the prison service. Maybe there's still a smattering of it now, but basically with time, that has faded out, institutional racism. He'll have had a tough time, that lad. Would I like to have a chat with him? I think I would. There's a lot of questions I like to ask him, but not questions other people ask him. Yeah. I'd like to know about things away from that. But there's somebody I'd like to interview far more than Tommy Robinson. That's his missus. You know, what's it like being with a far, far, far right? Without going into it again, you know exactly what I mean. 
yeah, living with someone. He's out there. Me, I've watched some of his videos, they're uncomfortable. They're really uncomfortable. He does speak a lot of truth. I don't want to hear things like that. I don't want to know about grooming gangs and the like. I met a young lady in Manchester when I was sick on the prison service. Pretty girl. For the first time in my life, I was taking my daughter to school. Missus was working, I was sick. Lovely girl, got to know her, her little lad, just chats in the playground. You could see something in her eyes. Yeah, a sadness behind the beauty. One of our conversations one day got round to where we lived, I said it was a Sheffield lad. She says, I'm from Rotherham. I knew straight away. She knew as well. She was a victim or survivor. Carried the pain in her eyes. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Damaged forever. Uncomfortable topics. My next vlog is gonna be for the Irish people. One person in particular. I'd like to thank everyone who supported the channel. All the kind comments. I'd like to say God bless you. I'd like to, God bless you. No, God bless you all. God bless you all. I've been delirious for the last six days. Please excuse me. But I'm still above ground, smiling and laughing, parting shot as always, guys. Then. How could anyone call you far right? Beautiful boy. Thanks for coming. God bless you again. I'll see you.